Hi everyone, welcome to Man Cloud Carriage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what are the differences between a Red Hat OpenShift IPA and UPA methods. Here, IPA means installer provision infrastructure and UPA means user provisioned infrastructure. In general, Red Hat OpenShift, we have a multiple versions starting from latest version starting from four. Within your four, we have a series 4.1, 4.4.3. Now the latest version is 4.13. And within the version 4.13, we have four methods of installations. One is automatic, that means IPA method and full control, that means UPA method. And we also have interactive method and we also have agent-based method. Four type of methods are have. But most of the time, one common question is, what is the key differences between IPA, installer provision infrastructure, and user provision infrastructure methods? So before jumping to these two methods differences, let's quickly recap what is the our OpenShift 4.13 supported providers and installation experiences first. So within a 4.13 installation experience, which includes four methods, automated, that means installer provision infrastructure, full control, that means user provision infrastructure in short form, UPI method. And the third option is interactive connected. Interactive connected, we can also call it as assisted installer. And the last but not the least, local disconnected method. This one, it's like a agent-based installer. When it comes to automated method, the main the method itself, it says automated. That means auto provisions infrastructure like Kubernetes and enables self-service. When it comes to user provision infrastructure, bring your own host. That means generally OpenShift consists of three masters, three worker nodes. That three master, three worker nodes, we have to configure manually. The, that is the reason they mentioned bring your own host, own master nodes, own computer nodes. Either it can be a virtual machine or you can use a bare metals. Okay. And you choose infrastructure automation. Even if you want to use automation, you can use automation such as Red Hat Ansible. Ansible, AAP, Ansible Automation Platform. And full flexibility. It's a completely full flexibility. That, that is the reason they mention as full control. And integrative ISV solutions, that means independent service vendor solutions. That is the importance of user provision infrastructure method. And interactive connected. We hear hosted web-based guided experience and agnostic bare metal, vSphere, and Nutanix. Only this method only it supported and ISO driven. We have a ISO for this assisted installer method. And when it comes to the local disconnected or agent-based installer, it is completely disconnected. That means most of the time we recommend to choose only on the dark sites only and we can also call it as air gapped and automatable installations via command line interface and it is also supported for bare metal vSphere and SNO it is also ISO driven and how about all the supported providers currently Red Hat given a multiple support providers you can be run it on public cloud vendors like AWS Azure and even AWS it support for a AWS private cloud. AWS private cloud product name is AWS Outpost. It support for a AWS private cloud as well, and as well as AWS local zones and public cloud vendors Azure and IBM Cloud. And even Azure also have a private cloud solution, which is called Azure Stack Hub. So OpenShift can be run it on a Azure private cloud solution, which is Azure Stack Hub. And it, it supported for a IBM Power Systems, IBM Z and IBM Linux one, and another public cloud, Alibaba Cloud, and bare metal. Bare metal means directly on a physical server. Either we can install a Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is container-based operating system, or we can use Red Hat Core operating system. And we, it will also support it for Nutanix Envir platform and Google Cloud, Red Hat OpenShift platform, OpenStack platform, and Red Hat virtualization and VMware vSphere. In our lab, previously, I explained you step-by-step -step installation method using 
running the open shift on vmware vSphere platform okay so now quickly understand the the main key differences between ipa and upa method so as i mentioned ipa full form is install a provision infrastructure and we can also call it as full stack automated deployments so anyone say full stack automatic deployment means also known as ipa and generally what we can do is a day one open shift cluster install and day two day to day operations if you see in this diagram red color means operator manage and the gray color means user manage but full stack automated the name itself says full stack automated that means within this diagram there is no gray color that means all the stack is completely fully automated using open shift install command okay so open shift install deployed so when the open shift is deployed we have a three control plane node or three master node three worker node minimally and later we can do scale up the multiple worker nodes and this can be run it on metal metal means it's a bare metal or you can run it on a, any cloud resources like a private cloud hybrid cloud or public cloud environments and similarly control plane running on same resources and similarly worker nodes also you can run it on bare metal or cloud resources and the operating system Red Hat OpenShift recommended operating system is RHEL Core OS on both platforms. And once we have this operating systems, control plane and worker node, when we have a three master node, three worker node, it call it the grouping of these six VMs, we call it as a OCP cluster. Either it can be a VM or it can be a six nodes. We call it, make it as a OCP cluster. On top, we can start using the OCP cluster resources like we can create a multiple pods we can also if you enable your open shift virtualization feature we can also create a virtual machines within your open shift environment that means within a concurrently we can run container applications on pods and can open shift virtual machines simultaneously on a within this open shift container platform but the key point in this diagram is IPA means there is no manual intervention. Once we initiate the command for OpenShift install deploy command, it will automatically start the provisioning of three master node and three worker node. But generally, initially, it will create a one image. Using that image, first it will deploy the Bastion node. And using the Bastion node, this Bastion node will help you to deploy the control plane and also worker node VMs. Once the control plane and worker nodes VMs provisioning is completed, this passion node is like a temporary node and it will remove the boot, either it is, we call it as a bootstrap node, sorry. This bootstrap node, it will automatically destroy once the control plane node worker node deployment is completed. Okay, complete automatic process. Now, let's observe the difference of UPA method. UPA means deploying to pre-existing infrastructure pre-existing means first we need to create a six vms make it ready either six vms or you can make it ready six bare metal nodes three bare metal for a master nodes three bare metal for a worker nodes so that is the reason if you see in this diagram there is a gray color so gray color means user managed that means pre-existing infrastructure also known as upa user provisioned infrastructure the name itself clearly says user provisioned infrastructure so user already make it a metal that means either physical server or cloud-based instances either it is on on-premises or private cloud so customer deployed this environment and open shift recommendation is control plane nodes must run rhel core os and worker node we have flexibility either you can run rhel core os or you can run RHEL 8 series version or 9 series version. And once we group grouping of this, all the six nodes, we call it as a OpenShift container platform cluster. This is, it will deploy through OpenShift install binaries. And then we can utilize cluster resources, okay? So as similar as IPA method, day one is a OpenShift install and day two is a operator-based installation and admin managed infra and workers. This is our day-to-day -day operations. Now coming to the another key point of OpenShift deployment comparison.
So when you see the comparison, full stack automation, pre-existing automation, let's quickly recap. Building the network, even within the IPA, it's completely installer, automatic only. Set up load balancer. We no need a additional HA proxy kind of load balancer. It's automatically created by IPA method. And configured DNS also automatic and hardware VM provisioning is automatic. OS installation also, it will take care by OpenShift installer and the generate ignition configs also, installer will take care. And OS support, it's recommended only the RHEL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux core operating system. And node provisioning, auto scaling, yes, it supports. And the customization and vendor provide support, it's supported for public cloud vendors as well as public cloud vendors. When it comes to pre-existing infrastructure, if you see build network, load balancer, everything can be created by user only. It's not created by OpenShift installer. And only it will create a Ignite configs will be installer will take care. And OS support, it will support for core OS or we can use a RHL 8 and 9. But OpenShift recommendation is master nodes should be created with the core OS. Worker nodes, we have a flexibility to configure RHEL or RHEL core OS. Now, node provisioning only for providers with OpenShift machine API support. And it is also provider support is both public cloud vendors and as well as provide cloud vendors. Now, another key point, sir. Proxy support, IPA is not supporting and UPA is supported. And disconnected installation support, IPA is not supported only with the UPA method. And private cluster support, IPA is supported and UPA is not supported. And existing virtual private networks is supported within a IPA based installation and UPA based installation, it won't support. So this is the overall differences between OpenShift installation of IPA and UPA methods. Hope you understand. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignant Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.